Hidden away in a secret London location lies treasures usually seen only on the big screen. The most famous props from some of the biggest films of the last few decades are stored in a secret vault of CNN's corporate cousin, Warner Brothers. CNN's Mac Max Foster was the first reporter inside with a camera crew. Here is his exclusive report. On a very ordinary reception to a very ordinary warehouse somewhere on the outskirts of London. We're not allowed to reveal the location and that's because it's the perfect disguise for a priceless archive and just look at the size of it. More than 10,000 props, 3,000 costumes, iconic objects from some of the world's favorite films, all meticulously sorted and stored here in the Warner Brothers archive. So in this section, rail upon rail of costumes. Let's take a look. The Dark Knight Rises, Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne. The Harry Potter franchise is one of the most successful in movie history. And once the cameras stopped rolling, many of the props and costumes were moved here. You'll recognize the Hogwarts uniform there, and you can get a sense of how Daniel Radcliffe aged as he played Harry Potter over the years. This from the first movie, and this one from the last. More Harry Potter items, right? Indeed, indeed, the golden snitch, which is used in the Quidditch scenes. There's no magic to be used between the classes and the corridors. And then we move on to the Dark Knight series. And this is the gun that I recognize. Indeed. It's from... heavy, it just feels like a real gun. It's, it's unbelievable. From Batman Begins, it's the practical grapple gun. What's that? On the tumbler? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in that. Check out the tumbler. All two and a half tons of it, fully functioning from the windscreen wiper to the 5.7 litre engine. Some of the props were stored so they could be repurposed later on. But above all, Warner Brothers says it's about preserving their shared history. Today's day and age, the value of memorabilia is huge. People love and connect with those assets, with those television shows and feature films. The advances in special effects mean that much of what we see in movies today is done with computers. But even the most high-tech film still needs some real props. George Clooney's spacesuit from Gravity and Sandra Bullock's. And the capsule that falls into the water right at the end of the movie. But in order to film the scenes inside that, they built this. So this is the space where Sandra Bullock was desperately trying to get back down to Earth. The detail really is incredible. For the final leg of the secret tour, a chance to try for myself what it feels it's like to be an action hero, like Tom Cruise in The Edge of Tomorrow. I mean, it's incredibly heavy. And to think that they spent hours in this is just amazing. There we are. I'm ready. My task is complete. Max Foster, CNN, I can't tell you where I am. <laughs> I think he would tomorrow. like a role in one of those films. Yeah, he, he fit, uh, the suit fit, so yeah. yeah you know, I was looking at the Batman. Uh, I Batman. was looking at the Willy Wonka chocolate. Oh, I would totally have one of those. It'd be <laughs> one... like Augustus Glute, I'd have all the chocolate. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. Hopefully, um, yeah, honestly, th those things must be worth a fortune. I, I bet, right. very cool to see mm, all stuff. Good story.